I just purchased this jet woodworking bandsaw and I'm going to attempt to do a bit of a, a light review on it. It's my uh, third bandsaw. I have uh, now two 14 inch bandsaws and an 18 inch bandsaw. The reason I bought a uh, third bandsaw is to turn this one into a kind of a belt sander. The little tiny belt sanders you buy are a joke. You have no table room on them. You can't get around anything. You can't sand anything to, fro, and back and um, without running into the back of the belt sander. So I tune this one up, replace the tires on it, um, and set it up and I uh, made myself my own platen that, that fits right in here and uh, that keeps the belt and um, stable and steady. I use a different uh, insert for it so that it doesn't go back too far but when I use the belt without the platen it'll move around a little bit and cut into the insert so it becomes a big old hole so to avoid that I've got two different inserts for that one without the platen one with the platen and one without the platen and um, I tuned this up, moved the table into centered it and got it the way I wanted to, bought new tires for it and it's really quiet and smooth now and then my uh, little belt sander quit on me, it just turned out to be a switch which I fixed and I just got to plug it in and uh, so I decided that the jet came on sale, you know they do that little Sucky in 10 or 15 percent sale, and I went ahead and, and uh, bought it. And I'm glad I did. It has some uh, advantage to it. It's really quiet. It, uh, I don't know whether you hear that or not. That's real time. That's really quiet. Now, this is really quiet too, but it's quiet. The bandsaws are quieter with a belt on them than they are without anyway. And this one. I don't have the tension turned up all the way on these right now. This one has pretty good tension even when the tension is backed off on a little bit. One of the problems I had with this is my tires were getting worn. And uh, this, anyway, one of the problems I had with the old Delta, it's a platinum, uh, I think it was built somewhere around 1999. So whenever I turn up the tension, you can see that the tension bar wants to walk up and if you're not paying attention then all, all of a sudden it can slip on you and cause your blade to pop forward when you're using well it doesn't matter what you're using it can cause the blade to pop forward changes your tension because as you go down the crown of the tire you lose a little bit of tension and it pops the thing forward I never had one a blade come off on me but I have them come close to coming off on me. I've had them right on the edge of the tire. So the jet has a little divot in there. So when I tension it up, it stays right in place. It causes me a lot less grief. Now the tires were getting old on the old uh, Delta and it was also causing the groove that the blade would jump, jump into too. So tensioning this thing is, is a snap. I don't have to think about it walking up on me and causing trouble. So that was nice. Now this is a 15 by 15 inch table and this is a 14 by 14 inch table. They were calling this um, an offset and I didn't know what they meant exactly. They didn't explain it or at least I couldn't find anyone who did. So what they mean by that is it's on, on the bandsaw this is your front and on the front of this I have from the center line here I have 8 inches and on the back side I have 7 inches. Now the old Delta I have on the front side from the center line I have six and a half inches and I had seven and a half inches on the back side and that's 14 this way and this is 15 this way so this gives me a little more front to uh, set things up and I only lose a half inch off the back from this one so that's kind of nice the lights I use here. I purchased these lights I bought. I bought separately. Um, I'll put a link to them in the details. And um, they call it a sewing lamp. This was actually the higher wattage of all of them. And it's uh, really nice. This is a, an older lamp um, that, that I bought. It's about half the wattage of that one. Those ones, believe it or not. I purchased about three of these. So 
I use them this way causes no shadows which is really nice when you're working on uh, wood and I uh, don't use templates a lot of times I make a template and then draw the pattern out on the wood and it's easier to see the lines with two lamps on now um, when I turn this thing into a belt sander I, I put together this I had another 10 inch um, bandsaw from years ago that had this platen on it I don't know if you can see that or not and it had a place here to screw it down into that bandsaw and it was a 10 inch sears and had another one down here on the same side well I cut that off and I cut this off here to give me a three quarter inch um, platen and then I just put these together glued them together and then screwed them up on here and glued them well to uh, put this on here now with the platen on there I can only go it's, it's a thin it's a thin platen so it really works well but sometimes you need something even thinner so when I'm doing like something like these uh, geese and I use this uh, um, I use the off cut to keep it flat and even that platen won't really get in between these little parts of the feathers the feathers so I take the platen off to do some of my sanding like this and get into these corners and stuff like that I don't know how well you can see that so um, I like that without the platen. The, the problem is without a platen, sometimes if you get too big a piece, you can push this back too far. I don't have the tension all the way up on this. You can push that back too far and you get rounding. Now, in some things, some things I like that, but there's a lot of times when you want to have everything flat. So I put this in. Yes, yeah, sir. I put that in. There we go. And I tighten it down. Then I put on the zero clearance insert. I drop it down just a little bit. And that gives me a back brace here to hold that. I know it's supposed to be a. Uh, I'm doing kind of a, what I why I bought the other bandsaw. <coughs> And this helps, and I can, um, and that holds it in place. Now I can lower this down, up and down a little bit, and uh, it makes an excellent uh, mm -hmm, three-quarter inch belt sander. <laughs> I know what I'm trying to say. The other things I like about this, this does not drop. Like this will drop. And this has a tension spring in it, in here, and will not drop. You have to move it up and down. So it's actually a little strange getting used to. I got used to the drop on these things. And uh, just always put my hand over here and dropped it down. This thing almost feel like I have to push it up and down, but I'm getting used to it. It's fine. Um, I really like this as a belt sander, and it's funny, right after I tuned it all up, I turned it into a belt sander, and it was, I really quieted it down. Now, they both, I bought a aftermarket stand for this one. This one, which I bought off of Craigslist, had one on it. This wobbles a little more than this one. Um, the stand, they're both locked down. There's a few other things um, that I like about this. One of the things I like about the jet is I can see the tire better to track the blade. On the old uh, Delta, that was hard to do because the case comes over the tire and it's really hard to kind of peek underneath here to see where your um, blade is on tracking it. The um, jet, you can see more of the blade track. The only problem, the only minor problem with that is the fact the tire is black and it makes it a little bit harder to see, not really, but it probably, I don't know how well it shows up on the camera. Um, it would be nice, so like the 18 inch has a white tires, uh, the replacement tires over here are uh, orange, and they have blue ones out there. I won't replace this of course until it's wore out, that's um, just a tight wad and I can see what I'm doing anyway. Um, but uh, it would be nice if they come with white or orange or even blue instead of black. But other than that, it's easier to track. This doesn't drop down. Um, 
they took the same Carter stabilizer as the Delta so I didn't have to buy another one and so there's some interchangeability between some of the things uh, and I like that I didn't have to go out and buy all new stuff this had a, uh, a, a fence and everything on it which I have up there but I took it off for sanding it just gets in the way and having this set up the way I do this can come out and I can turn this back into a um, uh, just a regular bandsaw within just a few minutes I've got the guides and everything over there it's not that hard to do I keep things separately labeled in a uh, container and um, it's just easier like I said I can take the platen right off without I didn't have to modify the saw at all I just built this little deal off and on it goes and uh, so it's a one horsepower it cuts really nice it's smooth it's quiet um, it was easy to adjust to uh, put together I did it by myself so that's my um, somewhat review of the uh, Jack Close Stand Bandsaw.